guys, welcome to another Kemikaze creation video. Well, it's the next day. I'm pretty stoked that uh, text message from Australia Post was the one that I wanted. All the AN fittings to finish off the uh, UC um, fuel system. Um, they're awesome. They're great looking fittings. Um, I've got a couple here. These are basically for the Red Holly fuel pump. So I've got just a standard rubber line coming in, eight millimeter or five sixteenths rubber line to spade and a 38 MPT into, or that, that will be actually the outlet for the, the pump. And the inlet for the pump is uh, the, the um, braided line that I bought that I'm using throughout the fuel system, which is pretty industrial strength. I don't think you're gonna go past this braided line for strength and durability and heat resistance. Um, it's 6 AN. So this will be NPT out again, 38 NPT to that 6AN line that I've bought. And then um, on the top of the tank, um, it's got 10AN um, outlets. So I've got one 10AN to 6AN, again, to adapt into that 6AN kit I bought. And I've bought a 10AN plug. These are all from ProFlow. Really nice looking units. I bought them in black. Uh, I've got a thing for black, but... Um, they should look really nice with that black uh, braided line. And on the outlet side of the tank, so down at the bottom of the tank, they're 8 AN outlets, and again to the 6 AN, so 8 to 6 to fit in with that braided line kit. And uh, they're all of, the, all of the 6 AN fittings in there with the red anodization, so they should be pretty good. Um, this one is the actual bonus. So for your fuel system, if you put a tank like this in, um, uh, you've got to be able to have some sort of airflow in there. Now this is what's known as a rollover valve. So if you roll over, it actually shuts off, um, but it's sitting open all the time and letting air come in. As you're sucking uh, fuel out, you need to be able to replace that volume with the air so it flows. If you've got no airflow, you won't get any uh, fuel drain in your tank. So that'll pop out to uh, um, give that airflow. Um, so as the fuel's draining out, air will be coming in and maintain that flow. So known as a rollover va valve, I'll pop that out somewhere. Um, it'll come out of the top of the tank and probably sit out the bottom of the boot somewhere that actually has the ability to bolt in. So I'll probably put a, a hole in the boot, um, slip that through and screw that on so that'll be sitting out the underside of the car this part anyway i'll get into it guys just before i get into that i just realized i also bought this which is a loctite don't know whether you can read that loctite 542 instead of using um thread tape i didn't have any of this yesterday i had to use a bit of thread tape but whack a bit of this onto your threads um it's for hydraulic systems um, but instead of worrying about thread tape, this will actually seal it up really well. Just fitted up the um, 3.8 NPT to 5.16 spade. That's an 8 mil fuel line coming in there underneath. So I've just got to isolate that, trim it off, and put a hose clamp on that one. And I'll fit my AN fitting on the other side. I've also down here, you can see them. I've got an outlet for the uh, fuel to come out from the bottom of the tank. I've actually plugged the other one. I have seen people run both outlets and uh, put a Y piece on. I'll see how I go for fuel delivery with that. So I've got the fuel line uh, outlet which you saw underneath the car. Runs up to the front of the car now, all sealed off. And I've got my AN fitting on the other side, which is the inlet of the fuel pump. And I've just got to make a line up now 
to run around the corner. So a couple of those anodized fittings that came with it and I'll make a line up to run around the corner and plug into the pump. There's that fuel line that I made up with the uh, A in fittings and it runs up around the corner and uh, joins on to that Holly fuel pump. Fuel pump's pretty noisy. I'm quite surprised how noisy that fuel pump is. Anyway, I'll look into that. So off the top, I've got my breather line breathing out of the top of the tank or letting airflow come to the top of the tank as fuel exits at the bottom of the tank and that goes over to the back of the tank I've actually uh, gone down through the floor and that um, rollover valve sitting out the bottom of the floor which will let a constant supply of air come back up through the tank on the other outlet or inlet on the uh, tank I really needed another plug for that to seal it off because I don't need that so I've just used one of those fittings and a bit of braided line and put a nice little chrome bolt down there for this stage until I get that fitting. So that breather comes down through the floor of the boot and sitting down there so that's got airflow coming back up into the tank and in the unlikely event that I have a rollover there's a ball in there that uh, seals it off and stops the fuel coming out. If you look down in the tank there, for anyone that hasn't seen inside one of these, this is one of the safety features that's in these tanks. That's a uh, like a foam that absorbs the fuel. So I've got about, oh, I'd say, at least 20 litres in there at the moment. It's a 65 litre tank. And you just can't see any fuel sitting in it. And as it fill up, fills up, that foam expands. It stops all the sloshing around. And it's a little safety measure that they built into these tanks. Very, very good. The good thing about this uh, setup that I've been incredibly impressed with is the amount of boot space I've got. When I started, I thought I was going to be using all my boot space. But these are a pretty large boot. And I've still got my wheel sitting in the original location and I'll be able to fit all of the jack and wheel brace and everything behind that. And I'm going to get that wheel cover made to um, make that wheel look a bit more presentable. But, you know, it's, it's, it's no showstopper, but it's nice and functional. I've finished off now in the engine bay. I've actually done a uh, test run. So I've got all my braided line in now. And uh, didn't leak here at all. Nice fitment, nice and tight, no leaks. Um, my temperatures, I haven't quite got uh, a handle on yet. I'm going to go for a bit of a drive and see how it runs um, and get it out of the shed to check those temperatures.
All looking good. No leaks. Fuel line's excellent. Love that braided line. Well, again, it's been another good afternoon in the shed. Finally got her back on the wheels. Down off the jacks. Uh, fuel system looks really good. Um, I've got to go and fill the fuel tank up uh, tomorrow and go for a decent run. But uh, just running it in the shed really good. Um, no leaks, no fuel lines. These fittings are brilliant. Um, just bought off eBay. You know, they're sold out as uh, 6AN, 8AN uh, kits. So this is 6AN, which has about an 8mm hole in it, or 5 sixteenths. But the way they fit up is brilliant. Just screw the um, the braided line into this red fitting and then bring down the nipple, which uh, expands it and locks it in. So no chance of it leaking. Really good, really good fittings. I've enjoyed putting those on because they do a good job. So that's it. All done. Um, keep liking, keep subscribing, and keep watching. Um, two weeks, supercharger. Catch ya.